New at 7, state troopers target two busy highways in the wake of a growing number of collisions. We see an uptick in crashes when, during harvest, and then we kind of get a lull sometimes, and then winter hits, and then man. Tonight, we go in-depth on what makes them dangerous stretches of road. For the past few years, traffic accidents, including fatalities, have been increasing along two busy stretches of highway in Kittitas County. So today, troopers from all over the central and eastern parts of the state were out in force reminding drivers to be safe. And they took Cairo 7's Amy Clancy along to spread the word. The problem areas are along I-90 in Ellensburg and especially along Interstate 82, which heads southeast into Yakima, where this steep hill creates danger for truckers and the drivers around them. From 2016 to 2017, along freeways from Snoqualmie Pass to Yakima, and especially in this area near Ellensburg, motor vehicle collisions increased 21%. Among commercial vehicles, collisions went up nearly 50%. What you see here is an oversized load. So today, Washington State Patrol troopers from Ellensburg, Yakima, Wenatchee, even as far away as Spokane, patrolled I-90 and I-82 as part of a special emphasis patrol. It has been uh, brought to the attention of the Washington State Patrol and the Commercial Vehicle Division that we really need to focus on this and try to reduce these collisions. The WSP Commercial Vehicle Division was recently awarded a federal grant to help reduce collisions here because of the many recent accidents, including this one in September covered by Cairo 7, that killed a woman and her granddaughter. This was a pretty uh, tragic collision. Two weeks later, back to back crashes involving at least three semi trucks shut down westbound I 90 east of the pass. We have a safe trip, all right? Semis are also the concern along I 82 to Yakima, where a steep grade forces big rigs to drive very slowly. We can kind of get an estimate on the speed, which is probably in the 25 mile per hour range. Sometimes as much as 40 miles per hour below the speed limit. In the right lane, there are slow moving trucks. And when another truck comes up to another slower moving truck, they tend to move into the left lane, which causes an immediate slowdown. And what we're focused on is identifying um, these trucks and if there's any violations, but we're really trying to educate the public today on the hazards of the slow moving trucks. So today, more than a dozen WSP troopers patrolled this area. They pulled over and warned drivers like this woman from Bellevue about following too closely on this slow, crowded, dangerous stretch of I-82. We're really trying to emphasize this area just to bring it to people's attention. This commercial driver was stopped because he failed to obey the sign ordering all trucks to pull over and be inspected. It was pretty big. <laughs> Um, it's it's a big sign. He said you didn't stop for that sign. Did you see that sign? I can't believe I missed it. I'll, I've seen the sign, but I don't know how I missed that sign. I usually read the signs a lot. Thanks, yeah. Bucky. Appreciate your time. Good luck. Be safe, okay? Right. Troopers also made contact with drivers for speeding, cell phone use, center line and seat belt violations, defective equipment, and load securement. Anchored to the side, so he's not going through it, so he doesn't get that credit. The WSP told Cairo 7 this big rig did not have enough chains to securely hold his heavy load. Hook here goes all the way over, then you get 10,000 pounds. Even though today's effort was a one day emphasis, the Washington State Patrol is committed to bringing collisions here down by 20%. To help do that, three additional troopers have been added in the area full time. There's a troop sitting right up there as well, so we got this hill pretty much covered. One of the reasons for the rise in collisions here, more people are using these roads. Troopers hope by highlighting the problems, drivers will be more attentive and more safe. Reporting in Ellensburg, Amy Clancy for Cairo 7 at 7.